This morning, a new survey finds the average cost of gas is at its cheapest point in more than five and a half years at just $2.47 a gallon. But the good news for some drivers is scary for some American towns. Vicente Arenas got a first-hand look. Vicente, good morning. Good morning, Vanita. Record U.S. oil production is driving global supply up and prices down to less than $60 a barrel. But many in the industry fear this boom could ultimately end in a bust, and that has oil-dependent communities fearing tough times ahead. The more it falls, the worse it'll get. Yep. On a weekday morning at the Boomerang Diner in Seminole, Oklahoma, the talk is all about the plunging price of crude. James Wisnet is an oil field worker. Look at this place. It's usually full in the mornings with the oil field people. There's just a few of us in here this morning because they can't afford to come and eat. They can't afford it because oil contractors here are getting fewer and fewer hours of work. Falling oil prices, while good for many consumers, make it harder for producers like Melvin Moran to keep his workers fully employed. Moran has 80 wells in and around Seminole. If the oil price drops too much longer, this well will no longer be profitable. Very few of Moran's wells are now turning a profit because of the price plunge. It typically costs him more than $60 to pump a barrel of crude, more than what the market is paying. It's scary not only for our company, but for our community. We may be losing money every month, but we can survive. But so many companies cannot survive losing money every month. Could there be layoffs because of this slowdown? Oh, absolutely. Energy economist Bernard Weinstein at Southern Methodist University's Cox Business School says millions of jobs benefit from the oil and gas industry boom, but layoffs could be around the corner. If you're small, if you got into the business late, if you have a lot of debt, if you're highly leveraged, some of those companies are probably either going to go out of business or, or have to sell assets to stay alive. Weinstein says oil prices can tip the economy in either direction. I would say at the $60 price point, the positives for the economy outweigh the negatives. But if we go into a free fall, if we see prices getting below $50 or getting down to $40, I think that's a negative for the U.S. economy and not only for the oil producing states. How concerned are you? Uh, very. City manager Steve Saxon is watching the effects of oil prices on the local economy. We're heavily dependent on sales tax. If, if people are not buying uh, lumber or going out to eat, uh, then our bottom line is impacted. Half of Seminole's income comes either directly or indirectly from the oil industry. Now the city of Seminole has postponed some much-needed capital improvement projects. This is a scene that is repeating itself in so many oil-dependent communities across the country. Yeah, and we haven't seen a price bottom yet, and some analysts are saying this could go on through next year. Yeah, so a lot of hotel and restaurant workers and roughnecks are very worried about losing their jobs. All right, Vicente, mm -hmm. thanks.